I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. It's quite early in the morning. Somebody had come to knock on my hotel room door. Said he was lost. He was looking for somebody else. But I've had something bothering my mind. And that is modern day slavery. The shackles are no longer in our legs or in our hands or in our necks. The shackles are in our minds. Mm -hmm. Bible says, jealously guard your heart. Out of it spring the issues of life. The great slavery in religion, all types of religions, Christianity, Islam, African traditional religion. The other form of slavery is in politics. People hardly reason nowadays. People hardly reason independently. When I hear arguments on social media, when you are directing people to the reality of their enslavement, you'll be surprised at what they vomit out of their mouths. Simple way to enslave you. Number one, sermons. Because most people, particularly in Africa, don't read don't research and don't reason independently. They are echoes of the stupidity of their slave masters. Sermons. Just preach anything to an African, add the name of Jesus, add the name of Muhammad, peace be out unto his name, add the name of one thing they will believe. Sermons. Imagine, let me just give you, like in Christianity, they will say that uh, if you shout the loudest amen, you get the loudest, the biggest miracle. That's deception. You just want cacophony, you just want noise. How do deaf and dumb people get healed in crusades? If it is by shouting the loudest amen, then you get the loudest miracle. When they tell you that uh, prayer is the key, prayer is the master key, Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. That's a lie. Jesus did not start with prayer. He started with responsibility. Don't you know I should be about my father's business? And then it ended with accomplishment. It is finished. Any Christianity that takes you away from responsibility to God, to humanity, to your environment, only responsibility to a denomination and a man is slavery. The next thing is fantastic stories. In fact, the kind of stories, unverifiable stories that are being peddled today by preachers just to attract men to themselves is very, 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 very annoying. Annoying. I know the miraculous can happen. I've seen so many miracles, including myself. I am AS, my wife is AS. My blood was tested in the University College Hospital, the Badan. My wife was tested in the University of Benin Teaching Hospital. But we don't have C-class. I have four children with my wife. Three are AS, one is AA. But it is not enough to form a doctrine or collect money or sell mantle or sell whatever to people because of that divine act that God did. And I have seen so many miracles that happened through my ministry. 
the next but i don't parade them i don't use them you just be attracting men to yourself the bible says if jesus be lifted up from the earth i will draw all men unto me let's lift jesus up in those days that's it lift up jesus this one is lift up dr apoki lift up his achievements so they tell fantastic stories how the crossed borders how the disappeared and appeared how all kinds of stories just to enslave your mind number three over emphasis on the supernatural over emphasis on the supernatural that jesus multiplied bread did not prevent people from opening bakeries and going to fish so, so we keep promising the people the supernatural we collect their monies in the name of supernatural provision we waste their time in church in the name of supernatural elevation uh, 100 day fast what, what's wrong with you 50 days all night i just saw one now special prayers for the ember months what is different between ember months what are you people are you people something wrong with you the challenges we have in the months that start from september to december are usually as a result of the following number one in september there are rains so in nigeria so you might have flood you might have disaster you might have bad roads you might have poor visibility poor visibility while you are driving and anything associated with water and that rainy season there are some disease conditions that will come like cholera that are associated with our, our open defecation system by the time it is entering october people are becoming desperate for december i don't see anything you what you, you will run after in christmas and the new year celebrations and because of the desperation accident rates are high and then you enter november um when you enter november the weather is dry so and there is cold so people tend to warm themselves and all that and fire disasters become more often and then with the amatan haze you don't see well while you are driving the next thing is that meningitis will be common in the north and several parts of the country then the christmas rush between this in december and the new year rush it increases the rate of accident people will put cars that have not driven for a long time they will put them on the road and then they break down robbers want to steal to enjoy christmas and the new year celebration pregnant women who are tailors with so 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 they will have miscarriages i, I practice medicine this is 40 years i've been a doctor I know what is associated with all these seasons. When the planting season will start, like when I was in Igbo land, there will be land disputes. People will be macheted. They will get injured. They will bring them to, to my hospital. So there is nothing exceptional with Ember months. Uh, a lot of pastors would, would have stroke collapse cardiac arrest because they are fasting and fasting and fasting and not resting and they are not well nourished so you see pastors dying people with ulcers i've done a statistical analysis of these things happening in the months of december i mean september to december there's nothing about ember months nothing nothing special then you come and keep the people praying 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 you are just looking for money because the more attendance 
during uh, the prayer meetings at out of fear fear you get more offering that is the secret there's nothing in environment you want to create relevance then the next thing is success stories nigerians because of the poverty people don't care how you succeed success stories people just uh, I have this, I have that, I have that, I have that. So people people will just be amazed at the success stories of whoever they are following in their religion, uh, in politics, success stories. They just be running after the people them. You no, know, I discovered it in my personal life. People want to tap into your grace because they see structure, they see success. Then the next thing is structures. When you physical structures, you build the biggest auditorium, you build this, you put exquisite seats, you put air conditioning. All these people that have no electricity at home, excuse me, live in dirty homes. They want to come to such environment. They are amazed. They are amazed. When I tell somebody that I'm building a tertiary institution in 40 something acres, first thing is, is that he's fascinated. He's amazed. He wants to tap into the grace. I make bold to say there are very few pastors in my locality that have more real estate than I have. But it's not a basis, it's not a measure of my spirituality. Neither should it be a reason for me to manipulate you. Church people are easily intimidated by these uh, stories, spirituality, structures, successes, you know. Then you, the, the next thing is scaring. You scare the people. Any person worrying you at home, any person. No witch can come and press me here. This, the temperature is so cold. They don't know where I am. The environment is so neat. Demons like desolate places. They don't know where I am. My wife doesn't know where I am. Sometimes I even wake up at night. I don't remember where I am. And witch has never pressed me. That word pressing is sleep paralysis. It's a physiological state. Go and Google sleep paralysis. All these incubus and syncubus, they are mental um, um, perceptions. Go and Google sleep paralysis. So our people are being enslaved. They can't reason. In politics, APC, PDP, Labour Party, any party. You will see people because only 5% of humanity reason. And in a country like Nigeria, where we are very cultural and we just follow elders, we just follow leaders, people don't reason at all. The economy is going down. If you just say anything, APC apologists will just attack you. Uh, Wiki and Fubara, they are quarreling in a uh, river state and they are making the state ungovernable, unprogressive. If you just say anything, Wiki's supporters will attack you. If you say anything about Fubara, Fubara's attack, um, people will attack you. That is the way our stupidity, and most of these people who have been enslaved is because of peanuts. They call it empowerment. They don't know it is enslavement. They buy one uh, useless second-hand Camry for you. They give you special assistance that you earn to 50000 a month, something that a vulcanizer in a very busy junction can earn. You as a graduate, I have had very educated people, um, certificated people, behaving like Mumu, defending something indefensible. I know one young man during Buhari's time defended Buhari, defended Buhari because he was working under somebody who enabled him to just get some peanuts. 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 Go and look at him. He's still where he is. He has not progressed. So because of the unemployment, because of the weaponized poverty, because of uh, illiteracy, because of fear of thinking independently, people are enslaved politically.
just enslaved, the, particularly these jobless women, most of these women who are divorcees, widows, they just see the, the little provision of wrapper, t-shirt, cap, 20,000, 30,000, as a reason to follow any person. Recently, I've been seeing Dangote's advert of distribution of rice. The thing is becoming irritating. Distribution of rice. You see uh, a Ladura pastor, you will see Anglican priest, you will see Catholic bishop, you will see people all over the place, Dangote rice. In, in a decent society, what is Dangote rice? How much has Dangote extracted from this country? You will say, I've not given. Yes, but I've also not taken like Dangote. I've not taken. I've not had the privileges of uh, monopoly and all that that he has enjoyed. Don't, don't, don't enslave this country bag, 10 kilogram bag of rice. I have not been, if I, any time I tune television, Dangote rice, Dangote. What rubbish is this? If we have food in this country, we plant rice in this country, we, we have variety of food stuff. Well, why would you be living a life of palliative? This is a, a country of palliative. Anytime we have problem, rice. Anytime there is a difficulty, palliative. How can we continue like this? People don't think independently. They don't reason independently. So we are enslaved. What irritates me and what annoys me is that when you say the truth to them and you want to set them free, you become their enemies because of Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome, where somebody is kidnapped, molested, and then the, the person kidnapped falls in love with the kidnapper. Another thing that enslaves people is societies. You join clubs, you join courts, you join confraternities, you join this, you join that. And you, I don't belong to any club. No, 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 no. I don't belong to any association. I reason independently. You can't confine me. I must wear this. I must tie this thing. I must wear one cap. I must dance and shake my... No, nonsense. Nonsense. I'm not afraid of being alone. I'm not afraid of walking alone. If I do a ceremony, don't come. You are going to constitute a nuisance to me because I will spend more money feeding you. Don't come. I told my children, don't do ceremony to bury me. So just throw me inside the grave and walk away. I've lived a good life. This modern slavery. Modern. Then the next form of slavery is self. Self. You pierce your nose because you saw somebody piercing nose. You pierce your ears because you saw somebody piercing your ears. Every African woman must wear hair that looks like white people's Is that your hair? Is that your natural hair? You must bleach your body to look like white person. Look at, go and look at Ngozi Okonji Iwala. I'm always using her as an example. She still wears the African attire, dresses like an African, speaks like an African. Today, there's the worship of self, and enlargement of bum, enlargement of breasts, uh, implants, uh, attachment to eyes, so that you look like a pussycat. The, you, you, ex, you braid the hair as long to your waist, some one of them got stuck in the motorcycle wheel. Self, self, it is self. You are, you are an idol. You become enslaved to yourself. The next S is sexuality. Cucumber, this, orgasm, that, that. And this enslavement to self, only self. You can abandon your children you, to pursue sexual ecstasy you'll be watching phone self 
Your baby will be down there. You, you don't care. Self. Self. How you look. Self. You are ready to destroy another person because of self. It is self that is making you to be a criminal, that is making you to go and kidnap a fellow human being and sell the parts of a fellow human being. Self. That's why you are a fraudster. That's why you are a kidnapper. That's why you are a hookup girl. That's self. We are, I, I idolize self instead of thinking of the general good of society. I'm happy I've been able to make this video, Modern Day Slavery. And I gave you the different S's, S as in, a, as in stew, stories, structures. No, 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 no. You need to be free indeed. And the number of people who are free are very, very minimal. I was standing in the queue in the airport. One man came to, uh, just as we were about to board. He said, oh, you are Dr. Pookie. The man that sees the truth, that's a better legacy. Not the one that stole government money. Not the hypocrite. Remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Remember, we have only about um, 10 days to the September webinar on sustainable development in life, ministry, business, and career. There are definite ways to live a fulfilled life, sustainable development. Send a message to me on plus 234-7052-136763. God bless you. I have properties for sale. Send a message to the same number, plus 234 Seven zero five two one three six seven six three. God bless you. Have a pleasant day.